Hello, in this video I will show you how to use my latest plugin, Zap WordPress Custom Proxy Server plugin for WordPress. So to begin, click plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, navigate to the zip file you downloaded and click install now. After the installation, activate the plugin. Now we go to plugin settings. Here you will see that the plugin describes its basic functionality here, but it will work out of the box. Uh, to test the plugin, simply click on this link. And this site will load. But if you check, it is your website, but it loads using the proxy plugin, the whatsmyip.host website. So let's go to this website to check my physical IP. This is my physical IP and this is my server's IP, which uh, acts right now like a proxy for me. So if I enter here any website, uh, I will download that website using the proxy. Okay, so let's head back here and check the plugins features. Uh, you can use the proxy if you enter your website's URL and there are two query parameters for the URL. Zap API key and Zap URL. Uh, the ZAP API key parameter is optional, so it will work also without the this feature. But if you define here a list of API keys and save settings, uh, then you must use the ZEP API key parameter for it to work. As you can see, now it is disallowed because the test API key does not match the enter the API key. So if I enter the test API key one, it will work. You can define here API keys one per line. Okay, you can blacklist proxy links. Uh, you cannot allow proxy links to be uh, crawled, to be proxied. So if you want to blacklist uh, what's my IP.host, you can simply use this regex that this plugin provides here, and this will ban all. Uh, forms of this uh, website. So save settings and refresh. It is not allowed again because the blacklist is here. You can also whitelist. This means that uh, only matching URLs will be allowed. So if I enter here what's my IP.host, refresh the page, it works. But if I enter here anything else, it is not allowed. Okay. You can change the error message. Uh, you can enter here custom HTML error messages. Let's change only this. As you can see it changed. Okay, next step, enable course. If you are, uh, if you know what course is, then you can use it. If you don't know, you can leave it alone. Enable caching. You can uh, make the plugin cache the requests that are made on your local server. 
So, uh, if we access this, but let's allow us right now. Okay. This will be cached on my local server. And uh, at subsequent accesses, the page will load from my server, not from the page directly. Please note that this takes uh, hosting space, so beware that this might take a lot of hosting space if you have high traffic for this proxy. You can also clear the cache here. Okay. Next, we have the timeout for the cache, uh, the port, which to be used for the proxy. Note that uh, right now the default port is used, as you can see, port 80. Also, uh, another thing, uh, note that all URLs in the proxied web page will be uh, pointed to the proxy. So each and every URL that we have in the page will be pointed to the proxy and will be routed through the proxy. This is also a feature of the plugin, so it loads the web page that you pointed to, but also all links will be linked through the proxy. Uh, you can uh, disable the IP forwarding and use the proxy, but still show the client IP instead. So if you check this checkbox and refresh the page, the client's IP is shown. If you enable the IP hiding, then once again the server's IP is shown. External web proxy, address list and authentication. These two features are to use the an external web proxy. So I already configured this external proxy and if and the plugin is using this as the proxy. If I delete this and save settings, then my server's IP will be shown. If I add this, then this external proxy will be used uh, once again. So like this you can use external proxies to uh, access websites and also uh, this supports a comma separated proxy address list and the plugin will, uh, will select a random one at each access. So using this you can uh, hide your traffic very well. Uh, default proxied URL, you can enter here a URL that will be proxied by default. Please note that if uh, the plugin will not receive any parameter for the ZAP URL, then it will use this uh, default proxy URL instead. So let's test this. Right now, if I go to my home page, it is not allowed. Okay. This is because. Okay. I did not enter any play key. Okay, so as you can see, if I enter a default proxy URL, it will not show in the uh, uh, home page, but my whole page, whole website will be redirected to the proxy URL. So if you want to redirect your entire web page uh, to a URL and proxy it uh, in top of all, enter the default URL and your whole, whole web page will be redirected there. User ad agent, you can also set a custom user agent. Uh, ok, 
okay uh, now you can also prevent uh, robots from indexing proxified page if the Google bot comes and tries to index your page you can prevent the proxified page from getting indexed and also the plugin displays the local server time and uh, this is right now the uh, feature of the plugin so you can use it to proxify any web page you wish uh, keep in mind that you can use API keys to prevent unauthorized access and zap URL to uh, point the proxy to a specific web page. Okay, so this is all for the moment. I hope you will enjoy this plugin. Until next time, bye bye.